Hey, hey, mailbag uh, 22 ish. What I'm going to do on this one is open everything up and I'll tell you roughly when it'll be in the video, and that way you can jump straight to the part for the more interesting things. But we'll start with this one. And they actually tell me what's in it an LM3915N. N, not M. ICs. And I spent a whole whopping $1.81 for five, bought three packages. So I've got 15 of these. They are dot bar display drivers. At that time, I'll uh, get into a bit more detail on them. And this one, they don't want to tell me what's in here, but I know what's in here. Be headers. Yep, headers. I saw these on um, another maker, his Mailbag 56, and he actually had a great use for these. Instead of buying a whole bunch of different sockets, he just buys these, or sometimes he buys these, uh, then snips them to the right length, puts them on the board, and then solders them in. And that way you don't have to stock a whole bunch of different parts. I thought that was an excellent idea. Now these ones here, if you see, that focuses, have the round holes. Um, I used to use these all the time when I worked in electronics. Uh, I found they were better quality. Uh, granted, back then I think they were also gold-plated, but the eh, price of gold's gone up a bit. And for these, I bought five packages of five each at $1.48 a package. So I've got lots of these for a while. This one here was look at your spreadsheet before you buy. I already have uh, one of these. Actually, I think I have a couple of these. I did a bunch of videos on... High voltage devices, and this is supposed to output uh, 15 uh, kilovolts. Uh, it's just a little kit. At some point, I'll put it together and then test it against things like neons, light bulbs, like fluorescent light bulbs, etc. See how well it goes. And I spent a whopping ooh, 96 cents for this, and I only bought one out of the way. Now into some of the better stuff. This is a combination of some components and some test equipment. That's empty. Okay, the LD35. I'll go into a more detailed part at that time. But it essentially is Gotta get in here somehow. Oh well. A USB loader. As I said, I'll get into it in more detail at that time. And, but I did pay a whopping $14.70 and it was free shipping and that was on Amazon. Now, most expensive stuff. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, these ones here all took uh, about two weeks to get here. It was fast delivery. Uh, both of these took uh, 13 days to get here. Yeah. This is well packed. This item I saw on... Uh, The noise ends. I saw this on um, Diode Gone Wild. Uh, it was one of his uh, more recent ones. I think he did a full um, 
video on how this thing works or how it operates. So it's a USB tester. The FNB48S. I'll go into more detail at that time, uh, which should be shortly. Uh, but essentially, it's got a whole bunch of different functions, and I'll set it up that time uh, and show it. And this thing cost, uh, one of the times I spent more money than usual, $39.27, and it included free shipping. So, I'm going to clean this up and then get into more detail. So, I've got the FNB48S plugged into a small power bank, and I've got the load over here. It's turned on, but it's only drawing enough for the circuitry. The actual load load part isn't uh, activated. I need to push that button to do that. For this here, we'll just go through the menus. It has minimum, maximum, average for all the stuff. Um, don't know what that is. I'm going to have to read the manual. Uh, then I guess it's accumulated amp hours, watt hours. And this also has where it uh, can man monitor the data lines. And I'll have to read about that. Uh, this is what caught my attention to the product. Is that you get... Um, basically a little scope of uh, the voltage out and uh, the current out and you can see the noise and you can actually see where the LEDs currently are blinking and whenever they blink it changes the draw and now if I actually turn it on the current shot way up and you can see the ripple in there that's kind of handy. Now I'm just going to... There it goes back down. Let's see what else do we have in here. Yeah, that's pretty well all the same. And on here, you got type C in, micro in, uh, Type C out. That's also over here. This connector, and uh, it says PC. I've got to read the manual on this. This would deserve its own little video, but it seems to work quite nicely. And it takes a while to remember which way gravity is. Now for this here. I've got the load turned on, and you can adjust it. Go the other way. It's a uh, power bank's only rated for oops, rated for uh, one amp. So at 0.82, it's reading 0.816. Likes to be reminded to be saving some power. Let's see how this is affecting. Yeah, so it all seems to work. I'll have to read the manual on this. There's other things you can set. Um, I believe it has an overprotection uh, circuit in it, so that if it does turn itself off uh, to save itself, uh, you have to actually push some buttons to get it to reset. So, two new toys. And next I'll get on to the LM uh, and discuss it. So this will be a quickie on the LM3915. You pretty well need to refer to the data sheet. They've got several different examples of circuits, and there's lots more out on the web. Uh, in this example, they're going from 0 to 10 volt uh, for the display. Um, and here are the calculations. Uh, 
the big takeoff on this is that you don't have to use resistors on each of the light emitting diodes. You actually set the current uh, through this equation here. So this resistor here is one of, and the reference voltage determines uh, what the current will be. It also sets it so that there is a minimum current. Um, I think it's around 4 milliamps. Uh, but as I say, you're going to have to go in and take a look. Because if you want to cascade these, and you can cascade a whole bunch of them, uh, then they show how to wire them up, etc. Uh, whenever I do a project with one of these, I'll then go into all my calculations for that one. But it is a neat little chip uh, for making a quick either dot display, so you can have it where they just light up one of them, or if you want it in bar mode, you take pin 9 and connect it to pin 3, and that's all re that's required to uh, convert it. So that's pretty sweet.